Good morning guys, BJ Stewart coming at you with KetoBeyond60.com, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, this morning I got through with uh, all my workouts and stuff, got uh, email and all that kind of stuff checked. And a uh, little bit hungry so I'm going to fix some breakfast. Uh, this morning I've just had a, a craving for some sausage gravy. And uh, you know I'd love to have some biscuits to go with that but uh, that's not possible on uh, Keto. so. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, scramble me up a couple of eggs real quick. Those are gonna be my biscuits. A little bit of Kerrygold butter and a non-stick pan. While that butter is melting, I'm gonna take a couple of eggs, just beat them up in a bowl. Once my uh, Kerrygold is uh, melted here, just gonna throw that into the uh, pan. Take your spatula, get all that goodness in the pan and uh, I did cheat just a little bit I have uh, gone ahead and, and uh, cooked some sausage didn't have uh, a pound of sausage this morning so I used some patties this is uh, Goolsby's uh, premium country sausage it's uh, made in Tennessee you get this from Sam's if you look at the ingredients it's uh, zero carbs so uh, a couple of uh, patties of that, took that in the uh, New Wave cooker and uh, just uh, diced it up. I'll come back to that in a second as soon as my eggs get, get done. And uh, so it doesn't take but a second to scramble up some good eggs. That curry gold really does set those eggs off with taste, so love using my curry gold. <clears throat> One of the uh, movies that I've watched in the past and really love, kind of teach you a little bit about cooking eggs, is uh, The 100 Foot Walk, I believe is the name of it, about uh, a uh, Pakistani family that moved, had to move after a civil war, and the kid there was uh, an aspiring chef, became a Michelin star, Winner, one of the big things in the movie is him having to learn how to scramble some eggs properly. So, uh, one of the secrets there is to uh, take your pan on and away from the heat so you don't overcook your eggs. At any rate, we're going to get these done real quick. I'm going to put them into a uh, serving bowl. I'm done with the eggs, didn't take me a minute. Now I'm just going to put the uh, sausage back on the uh, burner a minute, turn that up to uh, medium high. <clears throat> and uh, with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of xanthan gum, a uh, half a teaspoon. And a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum is uh, one carb. Actually, I'm not going to use a whole half, but... Uh, just going to sprinkle that into the sausage mix there. I did, since I did cook that on the uh, cooker, I did add just a, a little bit of uh, bacon grease to my pan, just a, just a touch, so that uh, the xanthan gum could uh, have something wet and, and get in there. So I'm going to stir that in, and all I'm going to do to this now that I've got my xanthan gum in with uh, the sausage is take a little bit of heavy whipping cream and uh, basically pour that into the uh, sausage there. Just enough uh, for a serving, not a whole lot, just enough that uh, I can make a, you know, a, oh, it's probably not even a quarter cup. But uh, put that into the xanthan gum and the sausage. What the xanthan gum does, it uh, acts like flour in a way, uh, so that it'll thicken uh, that whip, heavy whipping cream. So we're just going to give that a stir around. You notice that uh, whenever you're taking your spatula through that, it's uh, moving away from the pan, so it's getting thick. And uh, okay, that's. Uh, a little bit more here, just a touch. Uh, I am going to add just a little bit of uh, sea salt to that. Not a lot, but just a little bit. You can add pepper if you like. I 
not one to eat a lot of pepper. Don't really care for it. So uh, now that's done, I'm just gonna put that right over my eggs. So now I have scrambled eggs and sausage gravy. So, hey, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. Talk to you later. Thanks for coming.